So here we are, it's uh, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, July the 14th, and this is our electric meter movement right now. There's just uh, probably five, 600 watts on the solar right now in total on the two separate systems. So we're going to see what happens when the sun comes up. And we're making more than we're using. So we got this system starting to work away here. It's not uh, super active yet, but it's getting there. You can see here's the that's the reading in watts, the voltage, and the house power, and uh, how many amps it's putting into the house right now. Um, it's not a lot, obviously, because the sun's not up. It's coming up. Um, if we go through here, that's your peak watts. I still have to change the language back to English. That's the temperature of the inverter, which is basically this thing. This is the total kilowatt hours uh, in the last two weeks since we've started the system. So that's pretty good. It's only uh, 2,500 watts of panels up there. Not uh, full capacity yet, that's only half capacity. Uh, it's watt hours today. That's uh, there's kilowatt hours total again. This is uh, CO2 that we've spared the environment, which is 130 kilos in two weeks. And this 258 hours and 19 minutes is the total time uh, the inverter's been running and since two weeks. And that's the number of hours today since the inverter was started up. But you know, it's been low sun, so it, it basically starts feeding back as soon as any kind of light hits the panels. And there's your total time again. That's it. And. Uh, We'll see what, uh, this is the solar, so that's the DC right now, 200 and whatever, and 1.5 amps. That'll boost up a little later, closer to 400 volts and about 5 amps. And here we are back at the display, so as the sun's coming up, you can see now it's uh, 280 to 300 something watts total, and that's pushing into the grid right now. So we'll see what that does a little later, and then we'll check back with the the meter to see if it's uh, stopped or spinning backwards. If we look at the meter now, it's going forward very, very slowly. So we'll see what happens in a little bit once the sun comes up some more. Still got a bit of shading, probably another half an hour before the panels are fully exposed. So we've still got these panels in shade right here. And there's our solar array. We've got uh, two out of three covered. It's just, in the summer, it's just way too much hot water. And because we have a closed loop system, uh, we can only vent off so much heat. And uh, if we don't, we'll get a boil over on the glycol setup. So drain back's the way to go. These panels here are almost in full sun. So we got two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 what's over there um, and as soon as those get in the full sun we'll see what happens and there we are it's already starting to spin the meter backwards it's pretty awesome and uh, we're not even anywhere near full power right now so as far as I'm concerned the analog meter works just fine running backwards so here we are uh, it's not full sun yet we've got 700 uh, almost 800 watts and uh, the meter is running backwards. I haven't shut off any loads in the house. Uh, the hot water heater is not running, obviously, because the solar hot water is real hot right now. Uh, the, I haven't turned the hot tub off. I'm assuming the heater is obviously not on in the hot tub because that's five kilowatts. Um, the meter wouldn't run backwards with that. You know, we've got about 500 watts, four or 500 watts of panels on the hot tub as well. So um, we're probably over a kilowatt uh, net right now putting into the system. We're still running backwards. This is called money in your pocket. We'll see what happens later in full sun, how fast the sucker goes. So we got some decent sun on these three and the inverter seems to be running fairly good. We're not at peak output, but that adds to the total as well. Uh, now it's about 8.30. Now we've got 1.2 kilowatts and uh, 
we've got sun on the panels, but uh, it's at an, quite an angle, so we're nowhere near midday, obviously, but uh, not too bad. Here we are, we're at uh, 1.4 kilowatts now, 240 volts, uh, hang on, let's see here. So we're putting uh, 240 volts is the house power, 5.9 amps is what we're putting in. Uh, let's go here to the DC. And the solar is 335 volts and 4.5 amps. And we've just fired up the solar hot water here as well, where the tank is at 162.8 Fahrenheit right now. Just to confirm, we are still running backwards. We are just before 10 a.m. and we're pretty much at 1.8 kilowatts. Spinning backwards good. I haven't unplugged anything. There's still computers charging. The computer in the living room is still running. Uh, the hot tub circulation pump's probably on. There's probably a fridge running, so we're, we're making some good power. So I just turned on the AC unit here. I've set it for 18 degrees C inside the workshop. It's putting out some cool air already. And we're still running backwards, getting a credit, running the AC in the workshop and all the other normal loads in the house. Pretty awesome.